If you are wondering what is Hortus Botanicus Amsterdam, what can I expect to see there, is it indoor, outdoor, how much does it cost, then this is the video for you. My name is Daniela Pereira, welcome to this channel. I make videos every other weekend about things to do in Amsterdam and tips on settling in here. So in this video I'm going to walk you through Hortus from start to finish so you know exactly what to expect. Hortus Botanicus is very simply a botanical garden and it is one of the oldest in the world dating back to the 1600s when it was started as a herb garden for medicinal purposes. As you enter you can pick up a map and you will see that there are 11 different areas starting with the entrance at number one. Number two, this area is a herb garden. All the plants you see in this section were also being grown back in the 1600s. Number three, this area is in a family shape and the flowering plants are ordered by the relationships to each other and also by age. Number four, these plants are from the Amsterdam water supply dunes which help purify Amsterdam's drinking water. Incidentally the water tastes amazing. Number five, this area contains conifers which have needle-like leaves. Number six, this is the oldest greenhouse at Hortus and it was built back in 1912. It also contains one of Hortus's oldest plants which is 300 years old. Number seven, here you can see some tropical butterflies up close. Number eight, the border along this canal is normally filled with wildflowers and pollinators that are indigenous to the Netherlands. Number nine, here you have rare and vulnerable plant species from Cape Town. Number 10, here you have different desert plants from around the world. Number 11, and this was my favorite bit of Hortus, this is a tropical rainforest where it is very hot and humid. I feel like I'm back in Malaysia. If you are enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up as it will really help this channel. Thank you so much. A couple of additional things worth noting, in terms of payment, Hortus only accepts PIN, so it doesn't take any cash, and this applies to the ticket office, uh, the restaurant, and also the shop. Also, when you are walking around Hortus and you're looking at the individual plant signs, these are only in Dutch. In terms of location, Hortus Botanicus Amsterdam is located towards the east and it's very accessible by public transport. If you are coming by tram, then you need to get off at Meester Visserplein, and if you are coming by metro, then you need to get off at Waterloo Plain. Adult tickets cost 12 euros per person and these can be purchased in advance online or in person on the day. Unfortunately, the museum card is not accepted there, but the I Amsterdam city card is. In summary, this is a very manageable sized botanical garden. It's quite a compact area with you know, plenty to see both indoors and outdoors. Given that I visited it in December, I am sure that it is gonna look completely different in the summer. On a separate note, I wanted to give you the heads up that I'm going to be changing the name of this channel. The name is yet to be confirmed, but in case you get a notification come up and you don't recognize that channel name, it could be me. I'm gonna be taking a break now until the new year. So I wanted to take this opportunity now to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. It really means a lot to me and I will hopefully see you in 2023. So all the best. Goodbye.